Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on frequency response analysis. In this video, we have to draw the frequency response for a given system g of s is equal to 1 by 1 plus 2s. So how to plot the frequency response? So we can plot this within two steps that is first we have to plot the magnitude response and we have to plot the phase response. So what is the first step for a given system? So we have to convert the given system in frequency domain. Now omega is frequency so we will convert this given system in, in terms of j omega. So we will write here first step sinusoidal transfer function that is instead of s in this given system we have to put here or we have to replace s with j omega. So I will write here that is instead of g of s we have to take here s is equal to j omega. Here also we will write s is equal to j omega. So I will take here on left hand side z of z omega is equal to on right hand side I will use 1 divided by 1 plus 2 z omega. So this is the sinusoidal transfer function that we have to refer for the magnitude response and phase response. Now how to find out the magnitude response. So for this magnitude response we have to take the modulus. So what is the meaning of modulus that is the negative value is getting converted or into positive value or we can say that we have to neglect this negative value and instead we will take here the positive sign. Now how we can take this magnitude response from this sinusoidal transfer function. Now here j is included 1 plus 2 j omega. Now what is the meaning of j? So j is equal to under root of minus 1. So if I take square on both sides, j square is equal to minus 1. Now if I take mod on both sides or we can say modulus on both sides, then modulus of j square is equal to 1. So we have to follow this. So suppose if I take modulus on the left hand side, then on the right hand side also we have to take the modulus. That is we have to convert the negative values into positive. So here in the denominator j square is expected. So how I can take here j square. So if I take square root and if I take square for this denominator. Then the square root and square is getting cancelled. So I will take here 1 divided by square root of now I have to take the squares for these two numbers so 1 square that is 1 plus 2j omega so 2j omega is 4j square omega square but for this j square is minus 1 but because of this modulus j square we have to take 1 so what is the value of 2j omega that is 4 omega square because j square is 1. So I will write here 4 omega square. So this is the magnitude of response. Now we will move for the next step that is phase response. So how to calculate the phase response. So here is the basic formula that is j omega plus a divided by j omega plus b is equal to tan inverse of omega by a minus tan inverse of omega by b. So when this j omega term is in the numerator then we have to take plus tan inverse of omega by a. And when it is in denominator then we have to take minus sign. Now if we observe this, this j omega term is in the denominator. So from this value also we can directly put that is minus tan inverse of omega by b. So here omega term is 2 omega and b that is constant that is 1. So we can say that minus tan inverse of 2 omega by 1. But here we will understand how this angle that is tan minus tan inverse of omega by b is getting calculated. So for that I will plot here the s plane which is the combination of real axis and imaginary axis. So, so on real axis the numbers 
वन टू थ्री एंड सो ऑन एंड हियर माइनस वन माइनस टू एंड सो ऑन ऑन इमेजिनरी एक्सिस वी हैव टू टेक जे टू जे थ्री जे एंड सो ऑन एंड इन दिस डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन माइनस जे माइनस टू जे एंड सो ऑन नाउ हाउ दिस एंगल टेन इनवर्स ऑफ ओमेगा बाई बी इज देयर सो फॉर दिस डिनोमिनेटर आई विल प्लॉट द एंगल नाउ हियर This is the combination of real number and imaginary number. That is, real number is one, and imaginary number is two j omega. So on this vertical line, value of j omega is there, and here is two j. So if I take the point of intersection passing through these two lines, passing through one and two j, then here this is the point I have shown with cross. Now we have to find out the angle. So if I join this point with origin, then here is the angle theta that we have to calculate. So how we can calculate? Now for this vertical line here, value is two j, or we can say simply two units are there. So I will say two uh, j or two, and here horizontal line value is one. So how to calculate this tan theta? So tan theta is tan theta is equal to 2j by 1 so theta is equal to tan inverse of 2j by 1 so this 2j omega what is this that is in terms of j omega and 1 is b so in this way this tan inverse value here also tan inverse value so this is the basic that how to calculate the phase response so this is not necessary in the exam only this formula is important now this 1 plus 2 j j omega is in the denominator so for this denominator what is the formula that we have to take minus tan inverse of omega by b so i will write minus tan inverse of omega that is instead of omega i have to take 2 omega divided by b so here constant is 1 so if i refer here that is minus tan inverse of 2 omega by 1 which is equal to minus tan inverse of 2 omega so this is the phase response now if we observe for the magnitude response how to draw the graph that is on the vertical line on on this y axis we have to take modulus of g j omega and on this horizontal line we have to take omega so we have to take the omega that is value from 0 to infinity and when we put here value 0 then what is the value of mod of gz omega then if i take omega is equal to 1 then what is this value so we have to take all these values varying from 0 to infinity and then we have to plot the graph Now, in the same way, for the phase response also, we have to take the value of omega varying from zero to infinity. Then, here, if I take value of omega that is zero, then what is the value of this angle G J omega? So, on this y axis, we have to put angle G J omega, and on x axis, we have to take omega. That is, we have to take this all this omega value varying from zero to infinity. and then we will plot the both the graph here we have to make table for value of omega that will vary from 0 to infinity that is 0 1 2 5 10 20 up to infinity and according to this we have to take the modulus of gz omega and angle of gz omega so i have calculated all the values by putting the value of omega in this two form now we will plot the graph so for the omega is equal to 0 gz omega that is modulus omega is equal to 1 so here is value of 1 then here angle that is 0 degree that is i will take for this uh, value of omega that is 0 angle is 0 degree so i will mark here point then when omega is equal to 1 then modulus of gz omega 0.44 So zero point four four that is nearly equal to this. So I will mark here one point. And here the angle is minus sixty three. So minus sixty three that is here is minus forty minus fifty. So in between this minus forty minus fifty minus sixty. So in between these two points.
point there is somewhere this angle so I will mark here the one point then again when omega is equal to 2 then it is 0 0.24 so 0 0.24 that is here so when omega is equal to 2 we have to mark here the one point and angle is minus 75.9 so here nearly is equal to minus 80 so somewhere up this side we have to take minus 75.9 then when omega is equal to 5 we have to take the magnitude 0 0.09 so here is 5 so where is 0 0.09 that is nearly equal to this 0 that is it is below 0 0.1 so I, I will mark here when omega is equal to 5 and angle is minus 84 so here in between this minus 80 and here 100 here minus 84 so when omega is equal to 5 we have to take here minus 84 so these are the points that we have to mark when omega is equal to 10 modulus is 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 so we have to mark here one point and angle is minus 87.1 so minus 87 is here we have to plot here the point now if we observe the values of omega after 10 that is for 20 50 100 and infinity the, what is the value so for this modulus of g j omega value will vary from 0 0.02 and last for the infinity for 0 so we can say that this is very slight difference in between 0 0.02 to 0. Now in the same way for the angle also the angle will vary from this minus 88.5 degree up to minus 90. So this difference is very large that is from 20 to infinity. This difference is large but this value will the, the variation in between these two values is small. So I will plot here the omega value up to 10. And now I will join all the points. Now after 10 up to infinity. Because at infinity it will touch to this zero line that is this horizontal line so we have to show straight line after that now in the same way for this phase response plot the last value is minus 90 and here for this 10 it is minus 87 so minus 87 to minus 90 this difference is so small so after that we have to show a straight line so here i will join all these points So this is the plot of magnitude response and phase response and this is the answer that is we have to sketch the frequency response of a given system.